at the start, there was only Goku. His family didn't really exist in Dragon Ball back then. The only relative that was mentioned was Grandpa Gohan, but as we later find out, he's not even biologically related to Goku. This is everyone who has Goku's blood, his family tree. Now, Goku's story with his biological family is a bit interesting because for the longest time, he thought that he was related to the people of Earth when that's not true. From the beginning, it started with Bardock. He is what is known as a first generation Saiyan, the first we've ever seen. Right now, it doesn't go back any further than him. He is obviously Goku's dad and has 100% Saiyan blood. But on the other side, we have Goku's mother, Jine. Just like Bardock, she is a first generation Saiyan around the time of Frieza's ruling, but a few years before giving birth to the men who would go on to become the strongest fighter in the world, they had already given birth to a little Saiyan called Raditz. This is Goku's older brother. When Goku landed on Earth, he landed in the mountains of China, Mount Powers in the Dragon Ball world. This is where an old man named Gohan unofficially adopted him, and that's why, until he met Raditz, Goku always considered himself to be biologically related to Gohan. Now, he is biologically related to Gohan, but that's a different Gohan. On the planet Earth side of things, we have the Ox King, one of the first students of the world-renowned Muten Roshi, second only to Gohan. After training with Roshi, he gave birth to a 100% Earth girl named Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi's mother, we don't really know anything about her, but she was said to have died in the same year after giving birth to Chi-Chi, and this was her only picture. Rest in peace, Chi-Chi's mom. Here we have our first example of crossbreeding a Saiyan. When Chi-Chi gives birth to Gohan, it is the first time in history that Saiyan blood has been diluted. Gohan is 50% Earthling, 50% Saiyan. As the series goes on, more and more of the Saiyan blood will spread across Earth. At the end of the series, Goten becomes the second son of Goku and Chi-Chi, and as far as we know, Goten doesn't breed with anyone. GT showed signs that maybe, but out of him and Gohan, Gohan is the one to pass down the genes. This is where the legendary Hercule gets brought into Goku's family tree. Not biologically, of course, but he is the father of Videl, who Gohan wipes up by the end of the series, and they create Pan. Pan being born makes Goku a grandfather. She is a fourth generation Saiyan, only being a quarter, 25%. Now, beyond Pan, it gets a little bit more confusing. At the very end of GT, Pan was shown as a grandma and she was watching her grandson fight in the finals of the World Martial Arts Tournament. Now, this is a whole generation down the line and is actually where Goku's family tree ends. Goku Jr. is 1 16th Saiyan. He's barely even a Saiyan anymore. We don't know what happened to Goku Jr.'s parents, but here's how it is. Pan and her Earth husband have a child. That kid grows up to have another child with an Earthling, and the offspring is Goku Jr., making him 1 16th Saiyan. The mystery of who Goku Jr.'s parents are will be one of those things that, unless Super is connected to GT in some way, we will never know. So, this is Goku's family tree. It might go back further, in fact it does, we just don't know who Bardock's father and mother were. But, I've always thought that this was one of the best things in Dragon Ball. These characters age, and you get to see them once when they're young, and all the way up to when they're dads and grandfathers. Anyway, let me know if you want to see any other family trees done in Dragon Ball. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.